Hi everyone. Right, I'm going to show you how to make, I've got this in view, this little lamp. Um, it's just using materials you might have. And Oh, sorry. Sorry. I've got like something on the back of my chair that when I lean back on it's soft and uh, like a blanket thing and it's fallen. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this. You have to excuse me because I've been doing some clay stuff as well. But... Uh, they're easy. You need two pieces of disc. I mean, whatever you want to make a base. I'm just using two discs. They're already glued together. Uh, I've got a little spool here. So what you do is you glue that little spool onto the center. I mean, I haven't painted any of this up. So there you've got your base. Then you take some wire. You need a bead. I'm using a large bead cap because it's for like a lamp and that's going to fit into that but take the wire leave some on about an inch and a half and then twist it round um, something you're making like a, um, a spring and you can do these as tall as you want as short as you want doesn't matter push them down so the springs nice I'm going to have mine quite a chunky one actually. There, and then take that off. I'm going to then, where's my plier? Where have I put my pliers here? So you've got the spring. And then I'm going to twist that up because that's going to stick inside of the spool. Pop the glue in the spool. And then just sink that in. Like that. Oops, just hold it. It, uh, it does have to... Like, and then you can bend it, because it's a spring, look, you can bend it and have it however you want. So I'm going to have mine like that. Now what you need to do is um, to cut. I'm going to measure mine first. Pop my bead onto the wire. And then bring that down like that. So I now know that that's enough wire for me. Take that off. Add on your bead cap. Oops. Pop some glue, just a touch of glue, into the end. And then pop your bead back on. And within seconds, within minutes, you've got yourself a little lamp. Um, if I wanted to, I can hang it over, so it's like over the desk. And they're so easy to make. Look at me. <laughs> Sorry, but I've been making clay ornaments. But, um, yeah. So you can actually have them however you want. Um, and then you can put them onto your projects. Um, you can pull them apart if you want. I'm going to keep mine like that. And have mine hanging like that. Um, make them as tall as you want. Quick as that. So some form of... You can use chipboard. Cut some round circles or square circles of chipboard. Layer it. That was just like a plant pot upside down, a wooden plant pot. That one's a um, a spool. Bit of wire that's twisted. Like that, and I can lift that up if I want. And um, a bead and a bead cap. And it's as simple as that. So I hope you try it if you like miniatures. If you've never done a miniature, try one. Uh, it, <laughs> it is really good. Um, I love doing miniatures. The other one I wanted to show you was... I've got some of these, um, these are firmer wires, each wire is different, I don't know if it says what size it is, no it doesn't I'm afraid, so sorry I can't help you there, um, but I've got, let's just take a couple of these out, and um, if, you know if you want to make a seat of some sort, so let's just say I'm going to cut that. 
it's about six inches long. Whoops, a daisy. Right, and I'm going to make some legs for a chair. So, um, just bend it. So you've got it like that. It just looks like a croquet thing. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is turn the legs up. Like that. You do, it is, you know, preferable if you've got the right equipment to use. So I'm going to need two like that. And did I measure that before I did the other one? No. How foolish of me. <laughs> we shall gauge. And then I turn up of that. <laughs> well, I said about six inches, didn't I? You can always cut it down. Okie dokie, we can get this right, so I'm going to bend this one. Like so. So we've got that to start with. There we go, legs are different totally. Well they would be, wouldn't they? It's for me. Oh, that seems to have flown somewhere. Pick it up when I'm moving. Bend that. Of course, these are smaller. See, I've got two, one big and one small. But that's how you would do it. And then you would, you could either cross them uh, like that for your chair or your stool um, and glue them onto the base like say if I was doing a dining room I mean if I was doing this as a dining room table so I could make that a dining room table let me cut another one we're bound to get something about the right size aren't we should have measured two exactly the same but I didn't but if you're going to make a table or a chair please make sure you've got the same ones Let's try this one. So I'm going to need that there. Okay. Let's have a look. Like that. That's about right, that one. And I'll cut the other one to size. Just bend it. Um, and then we're going to cut the other one the same. This one's going to join the other piece. And I'll pick it up when I... Uh... Oh, I need some new pliers. I know that. Do it slightly. Yeah, they're about the same. That's it. And then what you can do is you can glue these on and hold that in place. Just hold them in place. Like that. And there you go, you've got yourself a table. Um, my top's not level, but when that's dry, you can then turn the legs out. I'll show you what I mean.
Right, let me just see so turn the legs out like that. I'd do it first before you put them on. But I'm just showing you, um, it's so easy to do. I'm going to bend that a little bit more. Like that. And you've got yourself a. Well, that came off, didn't it, silly ass? Put that back on. There wasn't enough on it, sorry. I mean, you can s seal them in. Put a piece of card over there. If it's on a. Um, in a project. I would seal that over actually, just seal that over um, and then if you put in a tablecloth on it you're not going to see this are you so just leave it like that and let them dry like so that's a bit better and there you go there's your little table uh, and then you can put your little lamp on and make yourself a table of whatever it could be an office table you name it whatever you want to do with it um, I once did the gentleman if you look it up actually it's called the gentleman's desk in fact I'll find the link and I'll put it in with this video and um, you can go see how I made mine it turned out fantastic right now it's in America but um, that's how you do them little lamps and a table thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you soon bye bye for now